Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we are going over I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Now this book uh, came out in 2020, and it is based on her one-woman show of the same name. Um, if you saw my haul video, you saw how difficult it was for me to get my hands on this book. I had pre-ordered it, and it got cancelled. I had ordered it, and it got lost or cancelled. I don't know which. It just never showed up, and I got a refund. I tried to buy it from the store, but the store was out, and then I finally saw it in the store. They had a big display of them, and I grabbed it, and the, ca the cashier was so nice. She's like, oh, I can hold on to that for you while you're still shopping. I said, no, no, I'm, I'll hold on to it, just in case I set it down and someone else buys it, and then inexplicably someone buys the other 20 copies that you have. I, I want this book. I'm holding on to this book. Thank you. But no thank you, I'll be up in a minute. <laughs> so, should you read this? Let's get into it. Okay, so like I was saying, this book came out in 2020 and it's based on her one woman show. Um, I do believe that Jeanette McCurdy wrote it herself, unlike some authors, would be authors, would be celebrity authors that use ghost writers and it's very obvious in places that they used a ghost writer. Um, <coughs> spare. <coughs> so there's that. And then um, there's some famous authors who use ghost writers for their just regular writing, which I think is a little cheating. Uh, James Patterson, not to mention any names James Patterson. Um, so it was based on her one woman show. It is unapologetic. It takes a deep look into mental health and body issues, uh, growing up in the spotlight and everything that comes with that. Uh, it doesn't dwell and it's very matter of fact, but there's an emotional depth behind the words that I feel like you just can't fake. So the book is divided into two parts. There's a before her mom died and then the after her mom died and dealing with the aftermath. So um, for the before part, it goes over how she was as a, ch as a child, as a very young, starting at a very young age and acting and how she was never particularly comfortable in the spotlight. And uh, she was a very people pleasing child to what I would consider an abusive mother. Um, just not a good parental figure to have in your life. Her mom was a stage mom of the worst site. She was manipulative. She was vindictive. She was abusive. I feel, in my own opinion, there she, uh, Jeanette McCurdy details that she had group showers with her siblings who were 16, 17 at the time when she was still a child, pre-prepubescent, -pre possibly into puberty. Um, that her mother washed her hair for her, that her mother would shower her and wash her hair. It gets into that. Um, Jeanette McCurdy was taught to eat less and to restrict her calorie content by her mother, which encouraged her eating disorder, her battle with anorexia, which in the after part turns into bulimia. Um, her mother used her cancer as leverage to try and further Jeanette McCurdy's career, try to leverage more money for herself. To just, she used the I had cancer card all the time. It was to leverage Jeanette's captivity in her mother's life, that she was captive to her mother's whims and wishes, and it was just stomach churningly awful. It does talk a little bit about Dan Schneider. It doesn't mention him by name, but he's referred to as the creator. And if you know anything about iCarly or uh, Sam and Cat, the, the spinoff show, you know that, that he was in charge of those. And he was a dis disgusting human. Everything that's come out again about him has been just utterly disgusting and just vile. And it does detail it a little bit. Um, there's an instance where he touches her in a way that isn't exactly appropriate. It's not... It's done in such a way that it, if she were to tell, tell anybody at the time, they'd accuse her of overreacting instead of taking her seriously. Like, it's... It feels very calculated on his part. That he didn't do anything that is technically out of line, but the fact that he did something that is that close to the line is in and of itself a problem. Then we get to the after. 
uh, which starts with the downward spiral, anorexia, blooming into bulimia, drinking, her relationships, um, going into therapy, leaving therapy, um, finding a better doctor and going back into therapy and, and actually getting help. And it ends with hope, which I feel is the best way to end any memoir. Like, you can't end it end it because it's a memoir you're writing it while you're still alive but to end with hope is the is the best way to end it and this is one that I will actually be reading again um not anytime soon but I love her writing style I want her to write more like she talks about how what she wanted to do was to be a writer and to, be, to write stories and develop scripts and direct and if she directs like she writes that's amazing. That's fantastic. That's incredible because she's a very talented writer with a very clear voice. So should you read I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy? I'm giving it five stars out of five. Um, I say yes, yes, please read it. Um, if you're interested in uh, flash fiction or prose, uh, feel free to head over to my site, gmpotter.com, for uh, flash fiction and prose flash fiction and prose on alternate Fridays, as well as um, spoilers on what I'm writing. So uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!